Well, folks, it is a very, very windy day out today. And you see the trees whipping around and uh, the grass there whipping around. Yesterday was 60 degrees, great storm overnight. And now today we've got high, high wind. We've got wind advisory up to 50 mile an hour wind gusts. So it's not gonna be a pleasant day out today. So we've moved to the truck to finish this video, um, or at least uh, do this part of the video. But I was going to bring my GoPros out and uh, do a filming day, a driving day, and everything else for you guys. But it seems that I might have a 300-hour paperweight because I went to charge up the GoPro this last night, and it wouldn't take the charge, wouldn't turn on, wouldn't take the charge. Took the battery out, put the battery back in. Took the memory card out, put the memory card back in. Took the memory card out, formatted the memory card, wiped off the contacts, did everything I could, and I couldn't get the uh, GoPro to charge. So, I don't know, I think it's dead in the water. Two years ago, I bought it, GoPro Hero 7, and uh, I don't think it's working anymore. And it's probably beyond the warranty, so sending it back isn't an option. I guess I'm just going to have to get a new one at some point, but I don't know when because, uh, like I said, they're 300 hours and up. And now they're out to the Hero 10s, so uh, I guess we're going to have to wait a little while. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I can maybe just uh, keep uh, increasing the credit card or something. I don't know. I'm going to be in debt the rest of my life anyway. May as well just keep going deeper in debt. <laughs> but it kind of ticks me off because now, you know, now I can't give you any road footage for a while until I get a new camera. So we're sitting in the truck here. We're loading our first one. It's Friday, uh, February 18th, and we are headed up to Sunbury like we always do. Two of those and then one down now in town to finish out the day. So I don't know, but... Yeah, I mentioned in the opening clip, uh, yesterday was almost 60 degrees. It was a really nice day, uh, dry for most of it, and it started raining last night. A pretty good rainstorm, almost inch of rain, and now the cold front blew through, and the temperature dropped down to 35. We got 40 mile an hour winds. It's just cold and nasty out there. But at least it didn't change the snow. All the rain is over and done with, so we washed the salt off the roads anyway. So, uh, a little bit cleaner ride now. Uh, getting tired, tired of getting the truck salted up all the time and the roads were white and just a mess so good rainstorm kind of rinsed off the salt and, uh, so we're good for that and I don't know when we're going to get our next snowstorm I know we'll probably get one yet before this winter is over but you see behind me there over my shoulder out the window all the snow is gone um, every last bit of it except for some snow piles in parking lots um, all snow and ice is gone so that's a good thing I don't know. We'll see if we're going to do any more talking today. Um, like I said, it just kind of sucks that I don't have the GoPro right now. So. But we'll try to make the best of it and give you some videos from time to time so you know I'm still alive and kicking and working and all that good stuff. But, so we're loading, trying to stay warm, and uh, maybe we'll talk to you again before the day's over. All right, so we're delivering the first one here, and I've been trying to brainstorm about how I could give you some road footage with this cell phone, but I don't think it's going to work. I thought if I could put it up in the sun visor, um, I could just flip the sun visor down and, and be able to give you a video that way, because I won't hold the phone and shoot video, but if I can do hands-free, then I would give you some video, but it's just not going to work. <laughs> um, I have no way to turn the camera on or off. Um, and I can't turn it on and try to shove it in the sun visor and flip the sun visor down while I'm driving. That would be dangerous too. So I just, I don't know. Unless I could build some kind of a holster uh, that I can attach to the dash and then put the camera in there. I don't have a, a, a window camera mount at the moment or a window phone mount. I just put it on the dash in the one cubby, you know, or leave it in my pocket and, you know, it's not a big deal. I don't use the phone when I'm driving anyway. So I don't need a dash dash mount or a window mount for it. But now if I had one, then I'd be able to probably give you some video. But um, as it stands right now, I'm not going to be able to. 
So we're unloading here, we're unloading the first one, and boy did it get cold. It was 60 when I started this morning when I left the house, and it's down to about 35 right now. It's super windy and uh, nice wind chill going on and all that kind of stuff. So uh, and the weather certainly changed, but the road's all dried out, so that's a good thing. But other than that, we are here unloading, and we're going to go down and get the second one when we're done here, and come back and do it again. And as you know the routine, and we go back down there and get one and take it to Amazon to finish out the day. So we'll try to talk to you uh, later on, I guess. These are going to be boring without any road footage, but we'll try to make the best of it. All right, so I may have figured out how to uh, do this. I got it in a sun visor right now. Um, and we're leaving the plant. We got that first load delivered. And I just got to wait for traffic here. We got one pickup truck, we got another pickup truck, and then uh, we should be able to go. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. If it turns out good, we're going to use it. And if it doesn't turn out good, then we're not going to use it. But um, there's a pocket on the sun visor for credit cards or paperwork or things like that. Well, I was able to wedge the phone in that uh, pocket and there's one button, I can do one button on and off with it and uh, turn it on and off. So I can turn it on, flip the sun visor forward, do the video and flip the sun visor back, push the button, turn it off. And hands free recording with my cell phone. Now how it's gonna work, I don't know. Uh, what the mean? What the field of vision is gonna look like? I don't know. But we'll try it and see. Uh, so it's overcast, dry, but overcast. Hopefully the sun comes out later today. It's talk that it might, but I don't know. We'll see. But like I said, with the cold, that's for sure. So we're heading down to get the second one. Climb up this hill, get on top of the plateau. Nice farmland up here. I've seen it before. Uh, but you'll see it again. <laughs> but this is a trial run, like I said. And if it if it makes it, and if it's good quality and uh, everything else, we'll throw it in the video. And if not, then we'll just scrap it. So, and at least until I get another GoPro, I've got an option. may not be the best option, but I've got an option. Hit his brakes. Is he going to turn up here at this little intersection or is he going to keep going? Not me, he's going to keep going. Alright, so we're down here loading the second one. Got a little bit of sunshine down here. Still windy. I'm sure the wind's uh, whipping up and messing up the audio. I don't know if you're hearing it or not, but uh, still windy, still cold. But the sun's trying to come out, the skies are trying to clear off a little bit. So uh, we're loading this second one up. And that uh, camera set up in the sun visor didn't work all too bad. Um, I just, I'm shooting blind though. I, when I put it up in there, I don't know if my horizon's level or not, so it's kind of a roll of the dice whether we're going to be a little bit crooked or whether we're going to be straight, but uh, at least it's better than nothing. I can give you a little bit of road footage. I don't know if I can do as much as I do with the GoPro and the wind's about to blow the phone out of my hand here, boy. Every once in a while it comes up in gusts and I'm trying to pull the phone right out of my hand, so uh, we're not going to talk too much longer, but it seems like that works. I just, like I said, can't see exactly what I'm shooting or if my horizons are right or not. But uh, we'll do what we can until we get another GoPro. So, all right, we'll talk to you later. All right, and away we go. Take it off with the second load. Going out the road that we always go out. It's a little bit muddy now, but it's better than the ice that we had a couple weeks ago. And we were ice road trucking in here. And that was when I was kind of in a little funk and I hadn't been bringing the GoPro with me, but this was just nothing but a solid sheet of ice like two weeks ago. You see how the water lays in here, well, you know what happened when it was 
zero degrees in the morning and only about 20 in the afternoon we still had all that snow around this was nothing but a solid sheet of ice it was fun getting out of here but now it's just uh muddy the ground is thawed out from the warm weather and the rain and so yeah it's just a little muddy down there now up here it dries out it gets some sun and it, and it starts to dry out but a little got some washouts here from the heavy rain last night a little bit rough I have no idea maintenance wise what they do in the spring once winter's over if they come through here and uh, kind of fix up the road a little bit or if we're gonna be bouncing our way in and out of here for, uh, the rest of the year but, so like I said skies are trying to clear off there's some heavy clouds around a couple of snow flurries I saw but uh, the skies are trying to clear off it was gray up there in Sunbury but it's kind of sunny down here so hopefully it stays sunny not that it's gonna make much difference because it's so uh, cold and windy out but it looks warm <laughs> It may not feel warm, but it looks warm. Well, now we gotta lock the uh, axles in here so that we can make this turn without hopping and skipping and jumping. Let's see, we got one car coming. This is such a tough. There we go. This is such a tough turn in a way. Not that it's it's tight, but not super tight, but the angle of the road and everything else. Um, the hill, it's not easy on the drive line. Now you take that back out. Like I said, I like to take my foot off the throttle when I put that in and take it out of gear. Or lock, whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to reach for words to say, but... Uh, yeah, when I lock them in, I make sure I'm off the throttle and brake torque, and when I unlock it to go down the road, I make sure I brake uh, torque and lift off the throttle as well. So, but we're rolling. See how things go on this trip. See if we get unloaded quickly. And you get down here load that third one for Allen Town. Alright, so we're up here unloading the second one. Um... Uh, the camera in the sun visor works, but only when I'm leaving the plant or leaving the spring. Because what happens is I'll start the segment up, I'll get the camera ready and the phone ready and I'll put it up in the sun visor and it's recording and I flip the sun visor down and record my segment and then when I'm done with the segment then I'll turn the camera off and then the phone goes to sleep and the only way to wake the phone back up is to swipe the screen which means I have to pull it out of the sun visor once I pull it out of the sun visor it's a real tight fit I'm not going to get it back up in there while I'm driving so it's not working quite the way I wanted it to I can give you a little bit of road footage when I'm leaving facilities but otherwise if I see something or want to turn the camera on further down the road I can't do it so we're gonna have to get a GoPro just no two ways about it this isn't gonna really work uh, on a long-term basis but we made it up here and uh, we're unloading right now and, and we'll head on down there and grab that one for Allentown and hopefully that goes off without a hitch we don't sit down there and wait uh, last Friday we sat down there and waited for a little while before we got unloaded so hopefully this Friday uh, today works better and we get down there and get in and get right back out and that way we can Get home at a decent time get showered up and go out to dinner with the wife And we're gonna take the neighbor out with us too. She likes the restaurant. We're gonna go to tonight. So uh, she wants to go along with us so, uh, That's the plan so hopefully uh, Everything comes to fruition and everything works out the way it should work out but I'll try to talk to you one more time uh, at the end of the day when we park the truck and let you know how things went, but as for shooting road footage with the phone, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. It works, but it's not as easy as I thought it would be. So, all right, we'll talk to you in the next segment. All right, so we are home, and uh, I realized 
I forgot to do a closing segment when I parked the truck. I got the computer out and I was all ready to download or upload the videos to the computer and realized I didn't do a closing segment. So here we are at the house, uh, got home, got a shower, went out to dinner with the wife, uh, had a nice veal parm dinner, but now we're back home and I'm going to work on these videos for you guys and try and get them uploaded to the tube and uh, put out there for you before the end of the weekend. So uh, we're going to work on that uh, in a few minutes. But So we got down to our final stop and we had to wait a while. It was a one at a time unload and we were down there. Uh, I probably waited about 45 minutes till it was my turn to unload and all that stuff and then got back to the yard and I parked my truck and then another guy parked next to me and we started talking and that's how I forgot to do the closing segment. So that's it for this week's video. Um, I'll try and do more. Like I said, now I got to go get a GoPro. I don't know when that's going to happen. Um, hopefully soon, but I'm not sure when. But we got to get another GoPro so I can do driving footage for you guys. It's hard to do it with the phone like I explained. So, all right, we're going to finish this uh, up and then work on it tonight and try and get it out there for you guys to view before Sunday.